Welcome back to the final how-to video in partnership with Walmart and myself where we teach you how to use the Blackstone griddle. In this video, we're gonna show you how to clean your Blackstone griddle. All right, listen, before I heat it up, let's talk about why it is essential to keep your Blackstone griddle, you know, clean, right? So listen, the first thing is you wanna keep it, you know, clean so that it'll work at its optimal, you know, performance, right? It helps prevent rust, cracks, chips, and peels. Now, one of the things I wanna tell you is, listen, I think that these are essential for summertime, right? Listen, you gotta have this, you have it outside, it promotes, you know, family. You get to have, you know, your friends and family outside, you out here on the griddle, and this is no different than working inside of the kitchen, right? You can work outside, make hot dogs, you can do patties, you can do everything that you can do in the inside right here on that. And again, you get to enjoy the, you know, the outside and the summertime. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn these on. All my burners, I'm gonna turn them on high. As you can see, my grill is dirty. In part two, you saw me put, you know, put some bacon on here. I left everything on. Obviously, I didn't uh, clean it. Now I'm gonna show you that, right? But this is what you wanna do. Turn them all on, hit the button, all four come on. If you wanna verify, you can look down here. You can see all of the flames on. All right, so look, while this is heating up, I really wanna to talk to you guys about like just a couple of more features that I really, really love, right? So listen, I'm gonna lower this right here. I want you to pay attention to this right here. Look, this is a non-slip handle, right? And then listen, this is something that's a little bit on the underrated side. Check this out. It's lightweight, right? So another thing is, listen, that's like close to me, it's like, look, you can always open your bottles, right? I love soda that's inside of a bottle. It's something about being in a bottle, you know what I mean? And we don't always have one. You talk about convenience, whoop, boom, it's open, right? And then you can, look, drop your bottle caps right here, do whatever you want, but check it out. You see what I'm using? I got my scraper right here. Now, I keep mentioning this in the videos. You guys notice I like this, because listen, when I have utensils, I like to put my utensil right here. There's so many things I can talk about. Look, this is a cool one, but this is even cooler. Man, how cool is that to have your cutting board out here where you ain't got a dragon? Now that we got, you know, the burners on high, you can see it's starting to, you know, reach its smoke point. Everything that's on top of the grill is smoking, even the leftover, you know, bacon from yesterday, right? So this is what we're getting ready to do. I'm gonna turn all of my burners now down to low, right? And the reason that we turned to up on high, listen, we wanna get this to, you know, loosen up so it's not nothing hard. And then we wanna get all of the impurities that's inside of the metal. You know what I mean? Uh, it, it's kind of like coarse, even though we went ahead and seasoned it, it'll just lift everything up, right? So now we just take a scraper, right? And then what you wanna do is you wanna push everything over you know to the drain i want you guys to come in and take a look at it after scraping it you can see we get a little bit of something right here on the top this is where it come in you guys can get yourself a squirt bottle you know what I mean? And watch this. Just put a little bit of water. That's all this is. No other chemical, right? I take my scraper. That helps lift up stuff. Look at that. That helps lift it up. I'm gonna do it one more time. All right, then if you take a look, you can see it's nice and clean, right? Now I'm just gonna take a, a paper towel. I folded a couple of them and I just take it now and I just wipe it, right? Get back there by that grease trap. Wipe it completely, you know? And look at that right there. You can see right there. Now this is just what came up that was left on the grill. Like I say, we just give it a nice wipe. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my burners. And I'm gonna take a little oil. I'm gonna give me a fresh napkin and I'm gonna leave a light coating on this. And we're gonna let it just settle down and cool. And then we'll be done.
Okay, folks, look, I want you guys to come around here and take a look right here in the back. Now, you guys saw me pushing all of the debris, any excess water, oil, everything to the back, right? This right here is the trap. So we take this. If you put one of these aluminum foil pans, you know, inside of here, look at that. So I'm just getting ready to dispose of this. Probably even wash this out because this is not too dirty. Clean it up, drop it back, and I'm ready to cook on it again. All right, folks, listen, I'm finna give a recap. Better yet, let me show you why it's essential to keep your, you know, Blackstone griddle clean. You see that right there? That's what you're looking for. And don't forget, listen, by keeping it clean and properly oiled and seasoned, it'll help keep, you know, keep it from rusting. You know what I mean? Keep it from chipping, flaking, or even warping. So don't forget, Walmart and I are getting you ready for Memorial Day. So check out the videos. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to like and, you know, share it with everybody out there. Because guess what? Walmart, myself, and Blackstone going to get you ready for Memorial Day grilling. So if you've been following me for a minute, you know how I leave all of my videos so nothing has changed right here. Guess what, folks? I'm out. Peace.